right, let's take a look at our weather now. Fox 12's Camilla Ortiz is joining us for yeah. a look at the week ahead. Yeah, so uh, kind of gray and drippy, and that's going to continue, I think, uh, for a good chunk of the day tomorrow. But then we're going to get some nicer weather on the way. So we'll get into those details. Here's the view along the Vancouver waterfront from our Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro camera. 54 degrees out there. Here's what it looks like up in the mountains. Some light snow falling. Probably going to be pretty wet snow considering that snow level is still kind of high and temperatures are well above freezing, but it certainly looks beautiful. Let's take a look at today's high temperatures. So we still managed to hit 60 degrees in Portland today, three degrees above average. Salem and Eugene in the low 50s. I'm seeing low to mid 50s out along the coast. The Dalles hit 60 degrees today and uh, low 50s there for Central Oregon. Let's take a look at Eastern Oregon here. Uh, yeah, some really warm temperatures as you head northeast, low 60s for Hermiston and Pendleton, and then of course chillier in Burns and Baker City. But uh, take a look at our 24-hour temperature change, pretty significant coming off a day where we topped out in the upper 60s. So now we're 11 degrees cooler in Portland than we were at this point yesterday evening, a 15 degree temperature difference there in Salem. So that's that's fairly significant. That uh, little spring heat wave certainly felt good, but it was a little short-lived. Uh, we're back to the drizzle stuff now and the showers will continue through midnight tonight. Looks like we're drying out a little bit here in the valleys Monday morning, so uh, not going to be a washout or anything like that for your morning commute. Very spotty showers here. Here's your lunch hour. It looks like if you're further south in the valleys, uh, closer to Medford, I guess it's pretty far south, uh, you might see some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. Those showers should be tapering off for us here in the metro area tomorrow evening. And then Tuesday is looking like a pretty nice day. We might start with some clouds here in that I-5 corridor, but then uh, lots of sunshine. So we're going to be a little bit warmer there Tuesday afternoon. That gets us into Wednesday, which is still looking dry for us here. And uh, this is 11 a.m. Models are wanting to keep us dry all the way through Wednesday. We might just see a few more clouds than Tuesday. So let's take a look at our wind gust forecast. It was a little hard to tell in that last graphic, but we are switching to a southerly flow tomorrow afternoon. So it is going to be pretty breezy for southwest, uh, the southwest corner of the metro area with gusts maybe around 30 miles per hour around Wilsonville. Things will be calming down in the evening, and then Tuesday we're back to a more typical uh, easterly flow with that wind coming through the gorge uh, and wind gusts in that 20 to 30 mile per hour range. So tomorrow in Portland, showers mixed with clouds will be topping out around 50 degrees, and those showers will uh, start to slow down for us in the evening. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. We've got two pretty nice days beyond Monday. So Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to go upper 50s thanks to that sunshine we should be getting. And then it's back to rain there on Thursday. That looks like the wettest day here uh, in the next stretch is going to be Thursday. Temperatures drop back down to about 50 degrees. And then we're going to cool down even more Friday and heading into next weekend. We're thinking upper 40s with just some scattered showers. Anna? All right, Camilla, thank you. Almost to 60.